from all across the world. The brave and the bonkers take on the four-stage obstacle course designed to test competitors' speed, balance, dexterity, and ultimate skill. One man proved it could be done. Could another? It's time again for Ninja Warrior of Halo! Welcome back to Ninja Warrior of Halo, all you guys and girls. We've reached a crucial moment in stage one. So far, 37 challengers have attempted the course, but it has been brutal. Almost all of them have been defeated by the old and new obstacles. Only two men, Zeroif and Drago is sick, have so far reached the finish line and are advancing to stage two. Today, the last eight challengers will attempt the course many of them regulars, some with enough experience to be expected to reach the end. Like Re95, the man who went all the way in the last tournament, becoming a grand champion. Let's see how they do. First up on the course is Dustabuster 2 k one another returning contestant and he's the last of the six men who in the last tournament made it to the final obstacle but just missed out on completing stage one. For him, he ran out of time just two seconds from the finish line. Now he's back hoping for revenge. Dad is strong, he's already onto the rolling ball but he appears to have got it a little bit stuck. He's used the jumping technique to force the ball onto the track and he's rolling. Got a pretty good rhythm going and he's over. Now he's onto the rising pillars, three pillars that get higher and higher, gotta time the jumps just right and gotta get the exit right as well which he's done nicely. Now he's onto the jump hang, it's been the, the downfall of many so far and it has for him too, he missed hit the trampoline, nice grenade though Duster, good way to exit. Next up is Smokey Massacre, he hosts his own Ninja Warrior show and um, I think he's starting to upload videos, I'm not sure, I uh, have to ask him. On his practice run, which everyone gets before uh, they do their official run, he managed to get to the warped wall. So he's got the skills, he's onto the rolling ball. Oh no, he slipped and he's fallen! Oh, that's devastating for him. Next up is Spartan781. He's, he's the host of his own, another host of his, a Ninja Warrior course. In his last appearance two tournaments ago, he managed to get a top six finish, but not this time, he's fallen early. Next up is Jack the Rigger 5. He's a veteran who also made his last appearance two tournaments ago, but he managed to get to stage two, one of only three people to do so in that tournament. Albeit that he fell at the very first obstacle in stage two, but still, he, he still classed as a veteran. Now he's back hoping to see if he can get to stage 2 again. It would be certainly be an achievement if he could, considering the number of people that this brand new stage 1 has wiped out so far. Rising Pillars, he's done them before so he knows what to expect, but he hasn't tried this obstacle before, it's the jump hang. He goes for it, he jumps, a little bit of lag, he hits the trampoline but doesn't get enough distance, he's gone as well. Next up is Firebong with X's. Go on. Time started. Come on, there you go. First obstacle, the hurdle jump, and he doesn't even jump. Wow. Next up is Ump Double Ump, another returning contestant. He's a Spartan Warrior veteran, has managed to get to stage three on that course in the past, but on his debut in the last tournament, he surprisingly fell at the rising pillars. Shocking for him, but he has the skills, or he, well, he's shown the skills in the past, to show why he's one of the best jumpers out there. But will it be enough to defeat this new course? Rolling ball. Oh, he's hanging off the back there. Oh god, is that his technique or what? I don't know, but he's only just managed to hang on there. But here we go, this is the rising pillars. This is where he fell last time, his nemesis. He's over onto the third one. He's overcoming this time though. Now for the jump hang. Come on, ump. He goes. Hits the trampoline nicely. Oh, but he only just falls. He almost had it. Even Ump is undone. Next up is USS Defiant 1. He is an all-star. He is one of the best competitors on this course. 
and rightly so, because in his three previous appearances, he's failed. He has he's managed to complete stage one each time, so he's yet to fall on stage one. And two tournaments ago was his best performance when he managed to reach the third stage, earning him the right to call himself an all-star. He's a man who likes to move very fast, just like Jack the Rigger, and he's showing that so far. He's already onto the rising pillars, and he's flying across them as well. He's over, and now he's onto the jump hang. He's not even stopping for a break. Look at the speed of him. He's the first person to land it, and now he's climbing, and he's still climbing fast. And he's got unbelievable amounts of time at the moment. Bags of time, well up with the clock. Now for the walk to wall, first time we've seen it today. Is he gonna get up it in one? He is. He's onto the last obstacle, the final steps. Oh, and he landed at the bottom, but now he's just got to climb to the top, and he's going to do it with plenty of time. In fact, it looks like he's going to do it in a record time as well. This is absolutely incredible. 29.5 seconds to spare. Amazing. Time for today's ninja killer, guys. And the honor goes to the jump hang, which is with the undoing of three of our returning contestants today, some of whom may have been expected to reach the end, but fell here. Only one man is left to go, and it is the greatest of them all. He is the best. It is Re95, our new grand champion. And his 90 seconds start now. Yes, he is the grand champion. In the last tournament, he managed to get all the way to the top of that tower in the background. The fourth stage to become the ultimate champion, yes, as I say. And rightly so. He's definitely earned the reputation as being probably the best jumper there is out there and he's shown it so far with speed through the first two obstacles and through the rising pillars like USS Defiant 1 he likes to move at a, at a pace now for the jump hang this will test just how great the champion is undone many so far but not him he's on and he's climbing re95 the grand champ oh no oh he slipped oh that's no one was expecting that come on Ray. that was a near miss but he's recovered don't think we were expecting to see that from the grand champion but he's onto the warped wall still got a little bit of time at the moment oh no but he wasn't even close there has that slip knocked his confidence slightly he's not getting high enough on the jump hang on the warped wall i should say oh no his dreams are falling apart here. He's running out of time. He's up on his fourth attempt, but he's down to 10 seconds. The buzz is sounding. He lands about halfway up, but he's still got too far to climb. He's not gonna do it. It's gonna be so close, but no, no, that's heartbreaking. He runs out of time. Just a few seconds from the finish line. Re95, the warped wall cost him victory. Oh. A sad end for the Grand Champion. And with that, we have completed Stage 1. And what have we got at the end of it? A record 45 contestants came to take on the new Stage 1, but it was a massacre. Only three men. Zeroif, Drago is sick, and his brother, USS Defiant 1, have been good enough to advance to the brand new Stage 2. How far before one of these obstacles in the later stages proves too much for one of our survivors? Well, you'll just have to stay with us to find out in the finale of this tournament. Until next time, I've been Hunter Unit 751 saying goodbye and cheerio. Oh, and yeah, maybe expect a Tournament 4 highlights video soon. Okay, goodbye.